Today, I'm going to show you how to heat treat a knife with charcoal and a homemade forge. This is the knife I'm going to be heat treating today. It's 1 8 inch stock, and it's got pretty high bevels, which means it's thin, and all that means is we got to watch a little closer and make sure it doesn't overheat so it doesn't melt. Um, it's got quarter inch holes, three of them, and I'm just going to be heating it up to probably about the first hole from the tip and then quenching it into canola oil. I use vegetable oil because it's better for the environment and it has a higher point for flash fires. The process of heat treating is heating up the steel to a critical temperature. It's usually roughly around 1500 degrees Fahrenheit and then you quench it into oil which makes it extremely hard but it also makes it extremely brittle whereas if you were to drop it it would shatter like glass then after you the second part of heat treat is t called tempering it's when you slowly heat it to not such a high temperature about 400 450 and when it gets to a golden wheat color it means it typically means that you have done your tempering right and that's where you need to stop that is where it has been a little softened so you can sharpen it easy and where it won't shatter if you drop it or hit it on something but in tempering you don't want to heat it too much and soften it too much whereas it won't hold a he an edge for very long and it might chip where if you do it right it shouldn't chip or roll the edge. The step you're about to see in the next clip is just me preheating the oil with some rebar at a pretty high temperature so which will lower the risk of flash fire in the oil. a little as you just saw in the previous clips I heated up the oil with some rebar then you saw me take this out of the forge to quench it in canola oil and then I had to straighten it a little bit because it had a small warp. But as you can see, there's no longer any warp. It was a very small warp. And then I cleaned it off pretty good with a stainless steel wire brush. There's still a little bit of scale on the surface, but nothing the grinder can't take care of. And now I have a sharp file and I'm just going to test it. As you can hear, it's skating up. Oh, sorry, I hit the camera. As you can tell, it's skating off the surface without doing anything. And the difference is you can hear, I'll use back here on the handle where I didn't quench. You can see, or you maybe can't, but it filed off a little bit and there's a little bit of difference in sound. Here on the blade, it just skates off and the only difference you can see is the scale coming off a little bit, which means it was successfully hardened, and now we just have to temper it in the oven. So, as you saw in the previous 
two or three clips, I tempered the blade in the oven and got it to a nice golden color throughout the blade. It does look a little blue, purple here on the handle, but that's just because the handle wasn't hardened in the oil. And so now we're just going to clean it up on the belt sander and shine it up and make it look pretty. Okay, so this hasn't been an interesting video, and I know my voice sounds kind of funny, but it's because I'm wearing a respirator. So it may be a little hard to hear, but um, what I've done is I completely flat ground the blade. This is called a flat grind. It goes all the way up. Here's an example. It goes all the way up, but doesn't put a dent right here. You stop right at the end, and it's a constant gradual uh, thinning up the blade, and it's a pretty good all-around type of grind for a knife. And then you just put a secondary bevel on, which on this you see I haven't done yet. It's extremely thin, but I am going to put an, a secondary bevel to keep this strong. This is a camp knife for a Boy Scout, and so I'm going to make a Kydex sheath for it. Put some walnut handles on, and that's the end. But you guys won't see it in this video today. This video today was just heat treating. So I hope this helped you out if you're new to heat treating. If you're not, I still hope you agree with me on my steps. And I'll see you later. Hope you like this knife. If you do, please like the video. Comment what you want to see next and what type of knife, maybe. And subscribe if you're not already to see more videos like this and knife builds. Bye.